Graphing Rational Functions Without Calculus, Part 2. In our second example, we start exactly the same way. We take this y equals 2x squared over x squared minus 9, and we fi first find the y-intercept. And we do that by setting x to 0. And here I've done that. And of course, y equals 0 when we do that, because we have 0 on the top. So we found both an x-intercept and a y-intercept at the same time. Now, uh, step two, of course, is to find the x-intercepts, and one of them we um, already know, don't we? Um, uh, it's zero and zero, and in fact, when we set the whole expression to zero, we only have to worry about setting the top to zero, and we do that. Of course, only zero uh, will work here. Two x uh, zero squared will give us zero. So we have our x-intercept. Notice, too, it comes from a squared term, a double root, uh, therefore, um, it's going to be a um, a bouncer. It's going to bounce off the x-axis. Okay. Step three, the lead term test. And the lead term test uh, can indicate a horizontal asymptote, HA. Caution. We do not necessarily have to have a horizontal asymptote, and the graph may cross the horizontal asymptote near zero. Eventually, the graph will get arbitrary arbitrarily close to the horizontal asymptote if it exists. So what do we do here? We we look at this thing we say we look the, at the highest uh, the lead term on the top and the lead term on the bottom, the highest power terms and y is approximately 2x squared over x squared which uh, equals 2 as x goes to plus and minus infinity. Or we say we have a horizontal asymptote at y equals 2. So we do have one. This function is going to behave uh, like y equals 2 as x gets big in the positive or negative direction. Uh, step 4 is symmetry. Uh, we put in uh, negative x and of course you're supposed to know how to find this yourself as I suggested in the uh, first uh, rational function uh, video and we find that f uh, neg of negative x equals f of x therefore we have an even function. That's great because we only have to really graph the right hand side and then the left hand side will just be a reflection of that across the y-axis. Vertical asymptotes. Uh, vertical asymptotes given a rational function is in reduced form. Any x that makes the denominator zero is a vertical asymptote. So we set the denominator x squared minus 9 equals zero to 0 to find out when we're going to have 0 in this denominator. And we get x equals plus 3 and minus 3. And those lines, x equals positive 3 and x equals negative 3, are the uh, vertical asymptotes. Uh, step uh, 6, we place the intercepts and asymptotes on the axes. And uh, here they are. All right. And we're ready to think about graphing this. And I know this, that out here, as I get out here, this graph is just going to look like this horizontal line. So I'm going to come in this way. I'm cruising in. Now I'm going to, get, I'm going to hit this vertical asymptote. It's not defined here, so I either have to go to infinity this way or down to infinity this way. I notice there's no x-intercept here, so my only hope is to go up to infinity this way. Okay. Now, when I get between this um, uh, x-intercept here, this bouncing intercept, and this vertical asymptote. I don't know whether I'm going to go this way, oops, excuse me, I'm going to go up this way, or whether I'm going to go down this way. And the only thing we can do is pick a number like 1 between um, 0 and 3 here, and see whether that number is positive above the x-axis or negative. Notice when I put 1 in here, I get a negative number a number less than zero, I've done it right here, put it in the function. So at one, I'm going to be down here, so I know it goes this way, doesn't it? Because it goes from here to some negative number. Now, it can't go back through because there's no more x-intercepts, so it's going to go down this way. So the function is going to go like this, and then from here it's going to go like this, okay? And then the other side's easy, it just reflects across, so that's no problem. And uh, we, we graph our function. Step 7 here, we graph the function. There it is. It goes up like that. It goes down this way, and then it has to reflect. Notice this makes this uh, uh, intercept a bouncer. It bounces off, and it reflects this way. There it is. Now, um, we don't know all the details here. All kinds of interesting things can happen if you want to graph it in the graphing calculator. Here is a uh, window that will work for this. You can stop the movie and and type this in and type this in and check this graph to see how it works. Also you can go you can go back to the beginning and start the problem over again and see if you can duplicate what we've done.